with the 32nd pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select KZ Akpala from Stanford University. King of the Miami Heat, you see the picture there with Phoenix. Uh, more hats and pictures changing. Yet another trade. This was now again another. It's the third time that we've seen a pick owned by three different teams in the last week. Uh, you, they're you're doing just an excellent job, Casey. Keeping up with it. I, excellent job. You, now uh, you said Andy, that, I, I'm, I'm going crazy. I don't I know. know what's going on. I will miss the next field goal kick <laughs> within 30. Thank you. Uh, but it's Miami who ends up getting this pick. What about Akpala? Well, he was projected to be somewhere, I'd say maybe five spots ab above this. Uh, that was his range, so he's still falling within his range. Those that follow the sport were probably into him, but at the same time, Stanford did not have a good season, so he didn't get the recognition that he probably deserved. But he's a good find for those who are paying attention to the sport because he can get his own shot, as you can see right here. And he, he's got a nose for the basketball. And obviously, defensively, with that reach, the way he reads the passing lanes, he can finish too. Yeah, he has some versatility. He's long. He can handle the basketball. He's fantastic in the open court. Got to get a little stronger. Got to get more physical. But you said it best because they didn't have a successful team, you know, wins. But when you look at his stats, shot close to 50%. Did a shot well from the three-point line. 37 percent this is a good pick in the second round here's what happens at the top of the second round all these teams had these players as first round picks right they're somewhere up in the 20s or even you know and you're just so surprised they're there and you're like i can't believe it let's go get them let's go get them pat riley loves to do that mm -hmm. to go hunt talent that he's identified so for him to go uh, jump and get the, he really sees something that he likes and you do it early in the second round it's usually a cheaper deal his quickness his length his aesthetics uh, his ability to, uh, to defend multiple positions he can really move laterally he has a lot more uh, to learn and a lot more to get comfortable with and confident so he can get to his strengths but we're willing to be patient with him uh, and I thought Day, and you, everybody would agree, I'm sure, that this was his best day. And that's a good sign for a young guy. As the week goes on, sometimes it can get even more confusing when you start to speed things up. And, and he found a way to make an impact today and make us all watch him. They've also turned it over seven times, so I think they're fortunate right now just to be trailing by two points. Heat in the 2-3 zone to open the second period. A block shot from Okpala. But he healed from the court. Away the heat. The lead is eight for the Kings, but time is running out on Miami. Buddy healed. And the rebound to Apala. But this game is about to come to a close. And the Kings wind up splitting the season series with Miami. Jared Jack averaging 13 points per game on the year. And now a turnover, and that'll be an easy dunk for KZ Akpala. You shoot it well from the outside and score in the paint a lot. That's also a good thing. As Watanabe goes to the ground, wanted a whistle, didn't get it. Akpala going right to the rim, spinning, and puts that one in. The offensive rebound. Lee can't handle the pocket pass, and now it's scooped up and missed by Akpala, but he goes back up and gets the bucket. Trying to get on a, get put someone on a poster. And he has crazy hops. Akpala steps back and hits the three. And for Akpala, he's nearing a double-double here in the first half. Jack gives it to him. Corner three is good. And right now, Sioux Falls is doing whatever they want. Pump fix to get Marcus Lee to move to his left side. And then he was able to just spin back to his right where it was wide open and lay it up and in. Akpala picks up the basketball off the tip and lays it up and in. Team fouls now on the hustle here in the quarter. Jack inside, Akpala, nothing Dusty Hannes can do right there. Akpala hesitates, then drives, can't get the point blank to go, but grabs his own rebound, bucket, and the... ...can score really quick. They average about 105 points a game, and boy, they... Akpala drives, but cut off once again. Good defense there by the rookie, Anthony Lawrence the second, but... That's just better offense yeah. than uh, almost night and day from where it was at the end of 2019. Since the new year, the Suns are allowing... Akpala lowers the shoulder a little bit to create some separation, and he's able to rebounds for the big man out of Stanford.
Akpala in the lane, bucket and the foul. Back him up there, you can see. Back him, keep working. Well, it's kind of the reverse of what we saw Aaron Epps do a few possessions at the end of November. They couldn't be any more different than what we're seeing here tonight. Runaway blowout victories for the Heat. And something happened. On the NBA G League website, but if you're listening on Information 1000 KSOO, you're going to hear Information 1000 KSOO in the NBA G League Network. Left side through the lane and in and out of the hands of Clemens. Up ahead, Akpala. Akpala's going to drive. See ya. Action stand. KZ Akpala able to run in transition. What's interesting about KZ Akpala, see the reap. JJ near the midcourt strike. Will take it, send it out. Akpala, corner three. Good. KZ Akpala, 83 74. Skyforce with a mini run. Akpala able to break the mini run of the Vipers. Sleep by eight. Mulder for three. That one kicks off the side. Picked up by Paulo. Akpala on the drive after the feed from Paulo. And with two assists. Try to get another one with Akpala, who'll spin to the baseline, put it off the glass and in. Casey Akpala. Now they'll work that two-man game again. Silva, this time, gives it off to Akpala, who scores! It's on the board to score the first bucket of the night, and then there's a steal, and there's another for, for Akpala. It's a great play right there from Motley as he gets that one to go. You got 15 seconds on the shot clock. Getting in deep, nice play right there. If Akpala gets to the cup, that's something that the head coach, uh, Brian Adams, will see. But this is one thing he's going to be frustrated about is the turnovers. You got to stop ball. You got it. And they did not. And right there is Akpala gets right to the cup and throws a dead turnover. But your Clippers keep it. You got six seconds on the shot clock. So Walton Jr. is going to have to do something as he gets to the cup. Nice big block right there along the way. Says not in his house. Great play. Great dish as they get it down the morning. Motley hands every time down. If you can, four seconds on the shot clock, so Motley's got to go. And that's it. And no call. Looks like that's a great block right there as Akpala gets it. But even better play by Walton Jr. Rim. And you can see right there, look at him come out of nowhere. Boy, the score last game with 23 points just has not had the same success tonight. Getting to the cup, what a step right there as Akpalu gets to the cup. The guy you want to run your offense through as he gets the good pump fake. And you can see right there, great use of his body and great play by Akpala. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go here in the third. The Clippers want to continue to get points on the board, and that's a block shot along the way. You see, man, at this Clippers team, they're getting shots. The, the issue has been getting them to go down. They're going to call that against J.J. Nice Euro step to get to the cup. But this is the only empire, and this is your house. Desi Rodriguez gets it to Raton Mays. Look at that first step. And that Akpala comes and cleans that up. I tell you, Akpala can get